Welcome to ATCM, the Emergency Medicine Channel. Yes. Uh, a 28-year-old man presented to the ER with alleged history of deliberate self-harm by ingestion of a mouthful of organophosphorus poison. On initial 10 second assessment, uh, we used protective uh, equi equipment since we knew that uh, the patient had ingested uh, organophosphorus. Uh, then we uh, examined why the patient. Pr personal protection is very important in OP poison? Because uh, it can get absorbed by our skin. Uh, okay, through sk skin itself it can it get, get absorbed. absorbed. So uh, airway uh, patient was uh, already uh, taken to outside hospital. So the airway was secured, uh, intubate patient was intubated from outside hospital and referred here. So airway was secured, uh, breathing, uh, bilateral bronchial secretions were present, wheeze was absent, respiratory rate was 20 per minute and saturation was 99% on ventilator. Uh, circulation, BP was 60. What are the indications of ventilation, uh, mechanical ventilation in OP poison? So worsening of GCS. Worsening of GCS to protect airway. And, uh, then uh, bronchoria, uh, uh, bronchoria and ARDS. Yes. Okay, then. Altered mint. Uh, there is a uh, low GCS. One more problem is there. What is that? Respiratory paralysis. Respiratory paralysis yes. due to neuropathy. Yes. That occurs later stage of the disease, but some patients it can occur very early. Yes. Okay. Uh, Circulation, uh, BP was 68 by 40 uh, and heart rate was 108. Uh, we, uh, in, at this point, two large bore IV cannulas were put and we started uh, NS bolus for the patient. Uh, disability wise, GCS was E1, VT, M1. Pupils were dilated 4 millimeter bilaterally non reacting. Uh, exposure, uh, he was, uh, exposure temperature was 90 Pupil degrees is? Fahrenheit. Pupil is dilated, sir. Actually, uh, he was already arrested from outside hospital, so he had already received atropine. Atropine. Bolus, okay. uh, 126 okay. milligram okay. was already outside given. So, uh, pupil was dilated. Uh, exposure temperature. What is the heart rate? Heart rate is 108. 108. Exposure uh, temperature was 98 degree Fahrenheit. GRB what are the abnormalities you seen in heart rate in OP poisoning? Sir, uh, we see bradycardia most commonly. Common thing is bradycardia. Eighty percent of the patients come with bradycardia. When you see a uh, tachycardia, what are the reasons? Sir, one uh, reason is if nicotinic uh, okay. activity okay. increases tachycardia. So uh, this OP poisoning itself can produce tachycardia. Uh, tachycardia. Then, if alcohol uh, co-ingestion with alcohol if taken. Okay. Then. then uh, uh, Atropine is another problem. Atropine with, causes tachycardia. Okay, yes. but how long atropine will act? Three minutes. Three minutes. So that is a short acting drug. Mm. So uh, tachycardia as such because of atropine will not last long. Mm. Okay. So already given from outside hospital, mm. might have that uh, timing might have ended mm. by now. Mm. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, since uh, um, Krebs were present uh, when patient was here. Uh, we started injection atropine, 1.2 gram IV stat was given after the chest was Why you started atropine? What is the requirement of atropine in this patient? So bronchoria. Uh, bronchoria is the end point to stop atropine, but here still it is there. So we uh, started on uh, bolus dose was start given 1.2 grams and then we started on uh, atropine. Is there any difference infusion. between bolus dose, infusion, uh, IV, bolus, uh, like uh, different different doses? No there is no much difference. Only thing is, if you are giving an infusion that produces sustainable effect. Yeah. Other one, uh, once you give, it may uh, last for 10 minutes. But you are targeting the bronchorea part mm -hmm. mainly. Mm -hmm. So the, even bolus or infusion will have same effect. Mm -hmm. Only in heart rate part, uh, atropine infusion will have a edge yes. over the other one. Okay. So uh, sir, uh, we started on our uh, 25 uh, milligram per hour infusion. Okay. And then, uh, sir, uh, pralidoxin was also started. What is the dose? Pralidoxin dose, uh, it is uh, 30 milligram per kg mm -hmm. IV in adults, uh, stat dose. And then we can shift to 8 milligram per kg. How long per hour. you can uh, give a, a pralidoxin? Uh, 24 to 48 hours. Okay, after that? We, after that, we stop. Why? Uh, what is aging? Uh, aging is the uh, irreversible. Uh, Binding. Ir irreversible binding of the organ of Okay, so after that, uh, there will not be any use useful for so. this uh, pralidoxin. Okay. So, uh, sir, uh, what about, did you give uh, gastric leverage, uh, sir, cleaning gastric. of body? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we did uh, um, 
skin decontamination the okay. body was thoroughly washed gastric lavage was given from outside hospital itself okay so we did not how long you can uh, advise gastric lavage in so within 1 to 2 hours so normally within 1 to 2 hours in massive ingestion you can give more a little more time or uh, delayed release tablets you can give little more times uh, and then any anything other repeated than repeated doses of uh, um, multiple, multiple doses, doses okay. of uh, ingestion of okay on a uh, sample history a 28 year old man known case of depressive disorder presented to the er with alleged history of deliberate self harm by consuming a mouthful of uh, organophosphorus poison okay. uh, containing cypermethrin and quinolfos okay. uh, exact quantity is not known uh, there was history of vomiting immediately after intake of poison history of loose stools salivation generalized weakness no no history of co ingestion as such or uh, what are the common co ingestions Alcohol. Alcohol. Alcohol is the most common cause ingestion that can mask all the signs of uh, OP poison. Mm -hmm. Just reversal of uh, OP can occur in that type mm -hmm. of patients. Um, sweating or passing of urine. Uh, he was taken to the local hospital where he was given gastric decontamination and activated charcoal wash. Uh, in that hospital, in view of dropping GCS, he was intubated. Mm -hmm. He was started on atropine and PAM infusion, antibiotics and other supportive measures, and referred here for further management. Uh, he uses regularly alcohol. What antibiotic you have to give for this patient? So, uh, for, uh, we might think of aspirations in aspiration. the patient vomiting. So, you just wanted to prevent it's aspiration like pneumonia. Yeah. That's all. So, any crystalline pencil, amoxicillin, yeah. augmentin, metronidazole, anything is okay. Yeah. So, uh, he, he medica medications, he uh, takes some medications but which are not known. For depression, he takes, but uh, mm. the exact medications are not known. Uh, last meal, his was 4 to 5 pr uh, hours prior to the ingestion of uh, the organ of phosphorus. On systemic examination, uh, chest bilateral secretions on arrival, which uh, cleared after uh, 1.2 gram of uh, atropine was given. Mm. Atropine uh, is available as ampules or? Uh, ampule also, vial also. Sir. What is the difference? The vial contains one ml, uh, one milligram. One mg per ml. One ml and ampule? the ampule 0.6 milligram. 0.6, okay. And then, sir, we took an uh, ABG hmm. and CBC CRP point of care. Uh, the ABG showed uh, pH of 7.4, PCO2 37.6, and bicarb of 22.9. Hmm. So, no acid base uh, abnormality as such. Okay. Uh, potassium uh, was 3.9, sodium 139, lactate 0.9, and creatinine of 0.8. Hmm. Uh, we also uh, sent toxicology samples uh, blood, urine, and uh, gastric uh, lavage. Okay. Then, sir, CBC CRP. What happened to his clothes? Uh, the clothes were also kept, uh, sir, for. Uh, so, as a medical sample. legal case, we mm. have to preserve all these things clothes, samples, mm. everything. Mm. Then, sir, uh, CRP point of care was 2.3 at that time. The total count was 11.7. And. Uh, should um, we report this case to police? Sir. Ideally, we should uh, report to police, but it is not a police case. Mm. Only if he dies. Then it will become a police case. But we have to ideally we have to report to the police. Um, sir, uh, we had sent for uh, serum uh, cholinesterase and uh, but uh, and uh, plasma cholinesterase. Hmm. But uh, the reports are still awaited. But outside reports we had, which was uh, 425. Okay. It was decreased. Low. Low. It was low. Uh, sir, we also took a chest X-ray, hmm. which showed uh, right lower lobe pneumonia. Okay. So. Uh, and uh, then what so, happened to the patient uh, sir, uh, the patient was on uh, for two days uh, PAM was continued atropine was uh, um, reduced as per the um, bronchorea we, uh, like, uh, we were what are the adverse the effects of atropine uh, adverse effects of sir it can cause uh, altered mentation seizures hmm. uh, uh, hyperthermia fever um, uh, urine retention hmm. uh, ileus The most, uh, most important thing tachycardia. in uh, tachycardia is not an adverse effect, it's an effect. Mm -hmm. Almost of all our effects, mm -hmm. the adverse effect in OP poisoning will be agitation, mm -hmm. altered behavior, mm -hmm. all these things. That same thing can happen in OP poison mm -hmm. itself. So, mm -hmm. it will be very difficult to identify whether it is a trope in overdose or uh, OP poison itself. Mm -hmm. How do you tackle this situation? Suppose the patient mm -hmm. become agitated. Now, the patient is on ventilator, there is no point in discussing that. Mm -hmm. But if the patient becomes agitated, uh, he makes a lot of noise in ICU, what do you do? So, we can uh, 
Reduce the dose. Glycopyrrolate. Okay, either you can switch to glycopyrrolate, or you can reduce the dose of atropine and start uh, glycopyrrolate along with that because glycopyrrolate is costly. Mm -hmm. So to avoid that costly treatment, you can mix both. Mm -hmm. So glycopyrrolate will uh, act on the peripheries. Sorry, uh, it uh, both will act mm -hmm. on the peripheries. Atropine uh, mm -hmm. action in the brain can be come down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suppose the patient develops uh, uh, after forty-eight hours mm -hmm. or after 72 hours, uh, the same problem, what do you do? What it is called? Atro uh, intermediate, intermediate syndrome. Intermediate syndrome. Okay, how do you manage that? Atropine. <coughs> Atropine. No need to start PAM? Yes, sir, after 48 hours. PAM after 40, 48 hours, there is no point in continuing PAM. You, can, mm -hmm. you have to stop it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so atropine alone is enough. Mm -hmm. So, what is the long term complication of OP passing long term in second week? The neuropathy. Uh, <coughs> Mm -hmm. How do you de detect that in your say? Foot drop in the ICU. So, the most common finding will be foot drop, foot drop. Uh, in any patient who is having OP poisoning, whether it is a chronic exposure like farmers or the patients who take large doses. Mm -hmm. They develop foot drop, you have to think about uh, uh, peripheral neuropathy. Mm -hmm. How do you manage that? So if foot drop is there, we have to splint and physiotherapy. Splinting is most important. Any mm -hmm. patient develops foot drop, you have to put a splint and uh, physical uh, therapy, yeah. physiotherapy is must. Yeah. Okay, what else you read about OP poisoning? Yeah. Clinical findings, tell me the clinical findings of OP poisoning. Okay. Uh, we can remember it by the pneumonic sludge. So sludge. All, sludge. So all secretions will increase, mm. lacrimation will increase, urination will increase, meiosis mm. will be there. Mm. Uh, then uh, GI. Uh, gastric secretions will also increase and MSS will be there. Okay. Then other findings? Uh, sir, other findings will be uh, nicotinic findings, mm. uh, nicotinic receptor findings. There will be uh, mitriasis, there can be tachycardia, mm. there can be uh, pallor, mm. and then uh, respiratory muscle paralysis. Before that patient develops something Agitation, else. Uh, what is it? Agitation. Muscles you look now? Fasciculation. Fasciculations every day. Actually, you have to check the patient's fasciculation every day because that will be the earliest finding of muscle weakness. Mm. Where all you can see fasciculations? In the chest. Muscles. Chest, chest muscles are the most important area where you get fasciculation. That has to be checked. Then, suppose this is an elderly individual. What other precautions you have to take? This is a younger individual, it's okay. Mm. But in an elderly individual, what other precautions you have to take before giving a trophy? You have to catheterize the you have to patient. Any patient who is having OP poisoning, who is on atropine, you have to catheterize the patient because retention one of the occur. most common uh, side effect of atropine is urinary retention. Especially somebody is having BPH and all, it can mm -hmm. aggravate the problem. So, you have to catheterize the problem. Mm -hmm. And antibiotics are not uh, really required in OP poisoning, but many patients can develop aspiration pneumonia or ARDS. Okay. So, this patient had uh, pneumonia or ARDS? It's a pneumonia. Why you tell it is pneumonia? So it was only in the right lower. Only one area. One, one area it is. ARDS. How do the X-ray so find bilateral it? Bilateral infiltrates. Bilateral. Uh, bilateral diffuse infiltrates. Any ECG finding you have seen in this patient? No, there's a tachycardia was there, but no okay. sinus rhythm. Okay. ABG abnormalities in uh, OP poisoning. Um, what are the common yeah. ABG abnormalities? Hmm? What acidosis? Respiratory, Respiratory acidosis, acidosis, acidosis is the most common thing. Okay. Later you can develop metabolic acidosis because of the rearrangement de of the internal circulation. Okay. So these are the common findings in OP poisoning. You have to always think that OP poisoning alone in very rarely you get. It can be mother finding can be masked by alcohol or he might have taken with his uh, antidepressive okay. medication. That is also a possibility. So, we have to think all these things uh, alone. Uh, if uh, if a patient uh, coming with uh, OP poisoning alone is very, very rare. Anything other than OP poisoning, which in that poisoning you does not, it does not require uh, pralidoxin? Carbamates. Carbamates. Okay. There you no need to give. Uh, Pam. Okay, why it is like that? It is aging, so it is reversible, it is oh. not irreversible. That's okay. Why okay. Atropine is sufficient. Atropine is alone is enough. Anything else you want to add? Okay, thank you.